One of the most common questions I see in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is it too late to get into Bitcoin mining and crypto mining. Today we're going to be specifically focusing on Bitcoin mining. That's the OG, right? The original cryptocurrency, the Bitcoin, and something that in retrospect everybody wishes now that they had bought before, that they had mined, because in the before times, right? The origin. There weren't just a bunch of exchanges to buy Bitcoin. How did you get Bitcoin? You mined it. It's called proof of work. It's the mining algorithm, SHA-256. It's what runs this blockchain, this distributed ledger, this this, op this beautiful open source technology, this, this money, this digital internet magical money that transcends borders and doesn't need an army to back it. And that's why governments are so scared of it. But first is 10 seconds of tails. That's my dog, my Shiba Inu, and my Dogecoin. If you've ever wanted to mine Bitcoin, then you should head to minewithcompass.com and learn how they're making it possible for everyone to mine Bitcoin now. They sell Bitcoin miners, they will connect you with facilities, co-location, which enables you to host your Bitcoin miners with some of the best Bitcoin mining farms in the world. Click the link below to learn how you can start mining with Compass today. We're gonna to be looking at specifically the Canon Avalon Miner 1246 is my example here, but the numbers are gonna be pretty relative to any Bitcoin miner. So if you're looking at like a Bitmain Ant Miner S19, we've reviewed a bunch of Ant Miners over the years. And when it comes to Bitcoin mining, especially if you're dealing in lower volume, the most common Bitcoin ASIC. You know what? I'm about to say it. Application specific integrated circuit miner. I'm pointing to being cheesy because I say that on a bunch of videos and everyone makes fun of me now. Like I'm so nerd. <laughs> You know, an ASIC is a purpose-built machine. It's a custom computer that literally all it does is mine a specific, that's one, cryptocurrency mining algorithm. It's really become an arms race to mine Bitcoin. So how do you know what's like the good one to get and what's worth it and whatever else? Because a couple years ago when prices were a lot lower, you could get things like the Ant Miner S9 dirt cheap. And now they sell for over a thousand dollars again. And people, they want to be trendy. They want to be like, oh, look at me. I just got my first Bitcoin miner. <laughs> Oh, nice. You got the Antminer S9 that came out in 2016, bro. It's like, well, the price is appreciated, so it's worth it. I mean, yeah, but like the efficiency is so off base as you were so outclassed by the latest generation of machines. And guess what? All these companies never stop. They're probably making and going to release in the semi near future, even better versions. But Bitcoin miners are so advanced, the leaps and generations, you know, the, the nanometers in these little silicon miner chips, They've already squeezed out a lot of performance. So you're pretty safe buying any of the latest gen and even the previous gen miners. But you need to understand what the latest gen, the previous gen in, and how those are a couple generations away from things like the, the staple, the face of the average Bitcoin miner, the Ant Miner S9. At market value right now, my 1246 is worth about 10 grand. You go on eBay, you wanna buy one, there's buy now options for $10,000. When I got this miner, it was not worth that much, but Bitcoin was not worth as much as it is. And just like the Bitcoins that you can mine, the miners that mine Bitcoin will appreciate in line with Bitcoin because miners are in essence like an income producing asset. Like these are quite literally money printing machines. Like, do you like free money? You can't get away from that quote. But the fact of the matter is that yeah, everybody likes free money. Look at the stimmies. Everybody be lining up for those. There's a bunch of Bitcoin mining profitability calculators on the internet and they're helpful to get an idea, but nothing beats real world mining profitability. That's where the Boss Coin YouTube channel comes in. So what I do is I get miners, I make sure they actually work and how much money they make, I document it and I bring it here to the tube. A lot of miners aren't as robust as you'd hope they'd be. Like Canon miners are so weak in comparison to Bitmain ant miners. They're finicky, they're not as robust, they don't like hotter temperatures in comparison. You know, my experience, but I'm not saying the ant miners are perfect, and actually, a lot of them, the power supplies are prone to fail, or even just the fan on the power supply, which is this box on the side of it that you plug the power cord into. If the fan fails on there, it has a shutoff function, and it just won't work. The most common fix to that generation of miners, especially like the S17s, is to actually just replace the fan. Every Bitcoin mining farm has just boxes of those, full of those fans. 
because they're frequently replacing those because they're just a faulty part. They don't really, you know, have a great longevity. But that's kind of the thing, is the industrialization of Bitcoin mining, right? So there's more money than ever in Bitcoin mining and big industrial Bitcoin mining farms, and it's a race to whoever can get the cheapest gear and also the lowest electric rates. You know, that's the game you play in Bitcoin mining. But you see me mining out of my own house. And I do that because I want, to just, I want to support the decentralization of the Bitcoin network, right? And I want to mine from home and I think that's really cool and I think that's like a key integral part of cryptocurrencies decentralizing them and not just having, you know, random millionaire, you know, funded operations building out a bunch of Bitcoin miner farms, but like actually people bringing it back home where it began. I'm mining Bitcoin in my house, you're mining Bitcoin in your house and, you know, getting some Bitcoin for doing that and securing the network and making it anti-fragile, right? So the United States could blow up, but it doesn't matter because there's Bitcoin miners and nodes around the world that makes it anti-fragile. So the mining profitability calculators peg me at about 25 bucks. My real world mining profitability right now, and this is largely impacted by the fact that Bitcoin has just gone up in value recently a little bit, uh, but it's, it's made about 30 bucks a day, which like, that's really impressive. You know, you could take you and your girlfriend out to Chipotle, have a couple Ritos and, you know, smile, kiss, maybe even splurge, you get a little guac, you're trying to show off. Oh, you got chips too? Way to go. She's totally flattered, impressed, astonished. Bitcoin mining is exciting. There's no doubty about it, my friends, but there's something else in the cryptocurrency ecosystem that can help you earn money. And that's gonna be the project with it partnered with us to bring you today's content. And that's Kava, who have their own blockchain, but have also built multiple blockchain protocols on top of it. Like, what, what does that mean? So how about Kava Swap, which we recently talked to you about, but it's basically a decentralized exchange built with the goal to give their users a trusted avenue connecting ecosystems, financial applications, syncing that up with their hard protocol that will allow users to basically earn money with their money. Hard protocol is actually really a money market and it's powered by cryptocurrencies. With cryptocurrencies, this is where you can lend, borrow, and earn across the world's largest crypto assets. That's gonna be DeFi, decentralized finance, at its finest. If you break down Kava to a simple concept, Kava is like Ethereum, and all these apps built on top of Ethereum are like these protocols built on top of the Kava blockchain. For example, with the Kava protocol, you can mint stable coins and you can earn with these. But the real exciting upcoming thing is Kava a swap as they just finished their test net doing tons of volume and you're like well how much 120 million dollars of transactions with over 30,000 users that's pretty impressive test net if you don't know those are those are very good metrics and i say that critically i, I don't have to say anything i say whatever i want on this video just <laughs> just to clear that one up if anybody's wondering but the kava swap it's an amm that's an automated market maker it's basically their version of uniswap and they're trying to make a better version their goal here is being a liquidity hub bridging DeFi different blockchains and financial services, basically allowing you access to more and thus the ability to earn more. And they've got a slight rebrand coming up. So uh, that's a little heads up, just you know, not trying to create FOMO or anything like that, but historically, projects that seem to do any sort of rebranding have had successful price movement following that in the past. And past performance doesn't equal future, whatever, whatever. Learn more with the link in the video description below. You know, 30 bucks a day plus $30 a day in passive income every single day like clockwork because you plug in the miner, right? You sit it here, you plug the power cord in, you plug the ethernet in, you log into it with any device, your phone, your computer, whatever, and you just drop your Bitcoin address and mining pool in, click, click, off to the race is done. Boom, passive income, easy peasy. It actually is like very easy. But you have to make sure you understand the electricity involved. We have a full video guide on kind of, you know, the basics of that and how to do it safely out of your own home. And you also got to be able to deal with the heat and noise. Those are annoying things. And please understand that because these are industrial grade Bitcoin miners, right? There's things like GPU mining rigs and you can mine with a CPU. And there's, there's many ASIC miners like this guy that's quiet, doesn't put out a lot of heat. But when it comes to Bitcoin, again, it's an arms race. It's the biggest, the baddest, the best, the most powerful and efficient and thus most profitable 
Bitcoin miners rise to the top. You know, that's like, I guess the lead up, the background, hopefully it don't seem too ranty or something in this video, but to, to get to the point here, right? So I've got a $10,000 market value mining rig that you could have bought, say this time last year for half the price, say $5,000. And it's been super profitable the whole way. The more people that get into Bitcoin mining, the less Bitcoin you actually make. But here's the kicker, is that the Bitcoin mining difficulty has dropped to end of 2019 levels recently because of a massive ban and exodus of Chinese Bitcoin miners and the destruction of a bunch of ASIC mining rigs overseas. Pretty crazy stuff and honestly kind of scary stuff. But I've got this device, makes 30 bucks a day, and at my electric rate, it costs me about $10 to pay for. So that's about 20 bucks a day. And that's at current Bitcoin prices that could fall or rise in the future if I hold the coins that's reflected. So I could make extra money or I could get burned. You know, at that point, you know, it depends on how bullish you are, how long term you are, if you need the money. I like a general rule of thumb is sell enough just to pay your electric bill and hold the coins and sell them whenever you want to. But you know it's not financial advice because I'm not allowed to give that. Thank you, government. Thank you. Hey, uh, how about you guys give me another rule and regulation? I didn't. Ha oh, and, and how about raise the taxes? Yeah, I love all that stuff. Man, land of the free, huh? Not quite. But you break the numbers down, 20 bucks a day, that's like $7,300 a year. I'm not a mathematician. I ran the numbers before I shot this video so I wouldn't look stupid on it, even if it is pre-recorded. So, you know, that would take me like a year and a quarter to break even, right? Because that's what you're shooting for. You, you gotta break even and then you start getting your ROI, your return on investment, you know, if you wanna look at it that way. You're not making money until you pay off what you put into it. That's kind of like the simple factor here. So at 20 bucks a day, it's like 7,300 bucks a year. I like a more conservative number, more like 15 bucks, that puts you closer to 5,000. And obviously the lower it goes, the less money you're making a year. Realistically, if you bought this Bitcoin miner today for 10 grand, I would realistically expect to break even in two years. That's not a good break even time in the Bitcoin crypto world where people want to do it in like three, four months. It's a crazy rapid pace that people chase here. Crypto and Bitcoin are rapidly changing and evolving in the landscape and, and the sector. It's crazy, it, it gives me truly gray hair um, at, at a relatively young age. I think all that's fun and exciting and, it, and it's one of the most incredible income earning opportunities of the century. I'm not talking decade, that's lame. I'm talking the century. People are gonna look back and be like, wow, I wish I would have either been around or just simply participated in the Bitcoin cryptocurrency revolution because I'm talking life-changing money and opportunities are here. How else can you earn passive income like that? People do a bunch of crazy things, start businesses and you know, pursue other endeavors to chase, you know, earning passive income reliable of 10, 20, 30 bucks a day. You can just swipe the card, buy this device and you do that. But it's not all that simple. However, I will say the Bitcoin is more robust than it's ever been, right? You got the Lindy effect you know, just becoming stronger and stronger here. And the big takeaway is, I think it's pretty safe to say nobody really thinks Bitcoin's going away at this point. Previously they did. And that's gonna be reflected in Bitcoin's price. And it's going to drop in the future and it's gonna go up in the future. You know, a little technical analysis for you right there. It's never gonna hit previous all time lows you know, unless something just absolutely tragic happens. But it is set up to hit new all time highs. That could be this year, realistically. I think that could be a couple years away. But the fact of the matter is, is that eventually everything is cyclical, you know, for better and worse, it's gonna get hit new to all time highs. And that's why I don't personally stress when I run Bitcoin miners because they don't always have the most attractive, the shortest break even periods, but it's because they're the most sought after. It's a very hot market because people know Bitcoin's still gonna be here, right? And so that's why I'm working on building a solar powered cryptocurrency and Bitcoin mining farm. Specifically, Bitcoin mining is gonna be a key piece of that because I pay off these solar panels, I pay off these Bitcoin miners, right? I got free energy and then gear, you know, mining hardware. This was quite literally free money at that point. It would just make money and it's powered by energy it generates. Like, that's crazy. I'm surprised more people don't do this, but hey, I'll do it. I'll document my journey here. And somebody will still have the audacity to say like, it must be nice at the end. Yeah, well, it must be nice if you're subscribing to the channel and sticking with me on this crazy crypto journey. Uh, that's just my little breakdown on Bitcoin mining and this $10,000 miner, how much it makes a day, and kind of like a little bit of the background and what goes into this. And just some food for thought when it comes to Bitcoin mining. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Voss. You're watching the Voscoin YouTube channel. I've been doing this full time for four years. I love it. It's a lot of fun. Um, this market's been a little stressful. I've been a little burnt out, but I've been taking a step back and just kind of getting back to my roots. 
um, slower pace and just working on some more content that I just thoroughly enjoy, like things like Bitcoin mining. So, hey, I hope to see you out there in the mines, decentralizing these networks. As always, again, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts on this video and Bitcoin mining. And let me know, when did you find out about Bitcoin? Was it this video? Was it three years ago? Do you wish you started earlier? Let me know and let everyone else know in the comments below. As always, I appreciate you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Please be advised, there are scammers impersonating us on multiple platforms. I don't want your money, I just want you to smash that subscribe button. Everything in this video is for entertainment purposes only. That means it's not financial advice.